Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I would really love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, I mean, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now. And also, please don't forget to press that bell icon. Exclusive. The Prince and Princess of Wales have been residing in Royal Lodge for some time because Adelaide College is too small for their family, an insider told. In a recent turn of events, it appears that Prince Andrew's return to the royal fold may be short-lived. Fresh revelations from New York court documents detailing sexual assault allegations against the Duke have reportedly intensified King Charles's resolve to bar his brother from resuming royal duties and to force him out of the royal lodge. Sources close to the matter reveal that Prince William and Catherine, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, would not only support but also welcome King Charles's decision to remove Prince Andrew from Royal Lodge. The couple has allegedly been eyeing the property for an extended period, as they urgently require a larger residence to accommodate their growing household. It's no secret that William and Kate have been trying to secure a Royal Lodge for their family. They are in desperate need of a larger property to accommodate their household, a well-placed source disclosed to express.co.uk. The wheels finally seem to be in motion to remove Andrew from the property, which William and Kate welcome and support wholeheartedly. Plans to evict Prince Andrew from Royal Lodge were set in motion last year when he was offered Frogmore Cottage in line with his, quote, downgraded royal status. However, he declined the offer, deeming it, quote, too small for his highness. The lease for Royal Lodge was granted to Prince Andrew in August 2003 for a term of 75 years, accompanied by a £1 million lump sum payment to the Crown Estate. Last year, it was revealed that the Duke of York utilized funds from Queen Elizabeth's will to make essential repairs, ensuring compliance with the lease terms. Despite the looming eviction, sources suggest that Prince Andrew is prepared to put up a fight and is willing to, quote, give everything he's got to retain his home. However, he may face financial challenges as he will now have to fund future security operations and other expenses at his Windsor residence independently. The king must put the monarchy first and do what's best for the family. That means ensuring that Andrew never conducts another royal engagement and removing him from a rather significant royal residence on the Windsor estate, the source emphasized. This development has left Prince William and Catherine in a precarious housing situation, as they have resigned themselves to staying in Adelaide College due to Prince Andrew's reluctance to vacate Royal Lodge, originally earmarked for their young family. Kensington Palace has been contacted for comment on this unfolding situation. So what do you think about this news, guys? Will King Charles's indecisive stance against Prince Andrew impact the dynamics within the royal family? And how might this shape the monarchy's future? Write down in the comments what you think and let me know. Until then, guess we'll have to just wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling royal updates like this, subscribe and press the bell icon. As simple as that. So, until next time, hasta la vista!